Okay, today we're going to be looking at graph transformations. So standard ways of transforming a function on a plane. And today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, just general transformations with general constants. Um, and in the next video, we're going to be looking at a few examples so you can see what we actually do, uh, what these actually translate to in terms of actual examples. So I just want to point out, this is our general function that we're dealing with. This is function notation. So we have our input x, we have some function x, uh, called f, so it takes in the input f and it gives us an output y. So and now we're going to um, kind of change this, change the input or change how the function looks like through some constants. Um, and then we, the question is, what does this graph y look like in relation to the original function? So firstly, if we replace x by x plus a, so we now have f of x plus a, this corresponds to a shift, uh, a shift left by minus a. So this corresponds to a horizontal translation. We are moving the graph uh, horizontally to the left by a unit. So we're shifting it minus a to the left. Now, if we instead we have f of x plus a, so a is outside the brackets, then we have a shift upwards by a. So we are going directly upwards. And this kind of makes sense because we can just think of the original function as being f of x, and then we're just adding on a constant a. So whatever we feed in x, we're just going to add on a afterwards. So this is going to correspond to moving the whole curve upwards by a. Okay, so now if you move a to um, in front of the function, we're now multiplying by f of x. Now this is going to correspond to a stretch, and it's going to correspond to a stretch in the y direction. In the y direction. And it's going to be a stretch uh, by, it's right in here, the space by a factor of a. So if we're multiplying by number a, we are stretching that function out by a scale factor of a. So if a is bigger than 1, we are making it more stretched out in the y direction. So we can kind of display this by two arrows going out like that. So we are stretching in the y direction. And then if instead we have the a inside the brackets, if we are multiplying every input x by uh, a, this corresponds to a stretch, but in the horizontal x direction. So a stretch in the x direction and this time by a factor of 1 divided by a so we are stretching it in the left uh, horizontal plane but we're actually squeezing it in so if we multiply by a and a is positive then we are shrinking the graph in the horizontal um, horizontal direction by a factor of 1 over a Okay, now we've got two left, and these involve negative signs, and these are going to correspond to reflections. So if we put a negative outside the function, this is a reflection in the, in the x-axis. So what we're doing is we're replacing the top with the bottom and the bottom with the top. We are switching everything above the... Uh, x-axis and we are reflecting it down uh, below the x-axis and the same for the bottom we're reflecting it up to the top and now if instead we have the negative sign inside the brackets this is also going to be a reflection but in the y direction so uh, in the x direction but reflected across the y axis so reflection in the y axis so we are now switching everything on the left to the right and the right to the left so this, if our function looks something something generic, we are switching left-hand side with the right-hand side. This is what these two reflections do. So these are the six uh, very generic uh, transformations. This is what we can do to a function. We can shift it, stretch it, squeeze it, reflect it. Um, and in the next video, we're going to be looking at some examples, and hopefully that will help you get some more intuition behind, behind why uh, these transformations actually make sense.